All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to import projects into Tasker. We're gonna look at how to get components from users, uh, from other users and put those on your custom live wallpaper. And this is gonna be the finishing piece to uh, over the last week and a half, I've been talking about get elements by class name, navigating the DOM and all that stuff. I'm gonna share all this stuff with you for free. I'm gonna show you how to get that right now. Uh, this is gonna keep this video under 10 minutes versus <laughs> an hour and a half if I were to go through um, every piece of this code that I'm using in Tasker. Um, but it, you know up until this point I've been talking about get elements by class name and stuff like that uh, you have to dive into the Dom a little bit deeper to get the Major League Baseball standings and this was a request that I got and like I said this video could easily turn into an hour and a half if I were to go through it step by step um, I do have a short uh, typed up thing um, inside of here to help you out this is also shared for free as well. Let me show you where to get this stuff and I'm gonna show you how to import it. But before we do that, let's just look at what I have over here in KOWP. Nothing fancy, but what this is, it's uh, the um, all of this stuff here, you know, Tasker's pulling it and is sending it over to KOWP. So I can navigate through all of these. And if I'm looking at AL East, um, this is the standings in the American League East. So as you can see, all those numbers are matching up with what I have over here. Now. Uh, here's the stuff. So go to any of my videos and in the description, um, any math or KOWP or Tasker video, go into the description of the video and look for KOWP free stuff. So we're going to click on that right there. And you want to download uh, these three files. This one here, that's just this text file right here with all the um, little, little directions to kind of help you get through the DOM. But you're going to be able to import this directly and get the information just like that. But this will still be helpful for those of you trying to get information from websites. Informations, <laughs> information from websites. So uh, get these three files. I'm going to show you how to do that here. And what I'm also going to show you too, if I go into Tasker, um, I already have this project, and this is what I'm going to be showing you how to get. This project has uh, the JavaScript in it so that we can, that's all that code you just saw in the text file. That's going to pull the teams, images, uh, the wins, the losses, and the percentages. We're talking about 150 pieces of information. <laughs> uh, 30 teams, so we got to get 30 teams' images, their names, their wins their losses and their and their percentages that's a lot of information so if you may think this javascript looks long and crazy but when you think about it we're getting 150 pieces of information um, in these few lines of code here so that project you're going to be able to get it and it's also going to refresh every six hours with this profile that i have set up so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to delete this because i already have it uh, saved i'm going to go ahead and delete that so now it's gone and now this uh preset here this component's not going to work anymore either so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete that out i'm just going to load a new preset all right so everything's blank and we're going to start from scratch so i'm just going to go to my google drive and i'm going to get those files so again the baseball comp this is the component for kowp that is this one right here baseballstandings.com so we want to uh, download that. So go ahead and download it. And then you also want to download the baseball.project.xml. Go ahead and download that. And then this is that text file. All these are over in KOWP craft math stuff to share. So once you get those downloaded, you want to navigate to your files. Those three files you downloaded, really probably the only two that we need to move are going to be the component and the XML file. And what you want to do is you want to put the baseballstandings.comp, put that in your component folder, which sits inside of your custom folder. So custom components, and then I've put that component inside of there. And then what I've also done too, is I've taken that baseballproject.xml, I've copied that into here. Um, so that way we can, you know, this is where I have all my Tasker projects or whatever, but we can import it into Tasker. So this is a way to keep it organized on your device so you can go back and get these later. So now let's first import that project into Tasker. So going into Tasker, if somebody has a project they share with you, you just come to the main screen. Uh, you got this little home icon, hold down on that, click import. This will take you to the project folder, which we just saved that baseball piece. So now I've got it loaded. Um, just a moment ago, I deleted it, but now I have it right back. So I have that profile set up and then I have that JavaScriptlet task all set up as well. Something else to point out to you as well, if somebody shares just a task with you in Tasker, if you come up here to task, 
and you hold down on task and you go to import, this will allow you to import a specific task. But what I'm sharing with you is a project and it's considered to be a project because, let me just exit out of here. It's considered to be a project because it includes a profile and a task. But sometimes you may get a task from a user. So if you just hold down on that, click on import, you can import a task directly into here as well. I'll tell you what, I'll just do one real quick. I'll go to import. Um, do I have any tasks saved on my device? Actually, I said I was going to do that, but I don't have any saved on my device. Um, this is a relatively new phone. So we have that, and now we can go back to the home screen. Let's go into KOWP and load up that component that you moved into your components folder. So I'm importing a component and baseball standings. And if everything, and if as long as you don't change anything. Now, like I said, this could be easily be an hour and a half long video because of the tasker stuff. And then KOWP, um, what I have set up inside of here is also quite involved. Um, it uses a little bit of, of looping per se to uh, go through the, the different images, team names, and all that stuff. But uh, we save this, go back to the home screen, and let's see if this thing's going to run. This button right here will refresh it, but it's probably not going to refresh anything because I don't think there's any games going on right now or probably a game did not just end recently. So uh, clicking on that, it says baseball stats updated. And the reason why I have it saying that is because inside of this task, this project that we just imported, it's running this task right here. And inside of that JavaScript, like towards the end, right before I have the exit code, I mentioned the exit code in one of my previous videos, but uh, flash baseball stats updated. So boom, we have that. Um, everything's working nicely. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can get a component from a user import it or save it to your device, import it into custom live wallpaper. This works the same for presets. Just make sure you put a preset in the preset folder. And I've also showed you how to import projects and task inside of Tasker. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.